What is the dumbest thing your parents have ever gotten mad at you for? Refusing to clean my older brother's room. I actually got thrown out of the house for the day, which was great because I hung out with the dog and my dad sneaked me food. Overall a good day except for my mom being extremely angry at me for no reason. I had a little mesh bag full of laundry scent booster crystal things in my sock drawer to keep my socks smelling fresh. My mom went through all of my crap one day because she was pee at me, found it, and accused me of smoking M. She didn't let me leave the house for a month. Despite me showing her the bottle of scent crystals that she bought sitting in our laundry room, and offering numerous times to take a full drug panel, she said I was lying lol. She knew she was wrong and didn't want to embarrass herself. Cruel. My mom complained I wore jeans too much, and never wore nice pants. So I started wearing nice pants since her complaining constantly isn't worth dealing with. A week later she asked me why I never wore jeans and if they didn't fit. She got really angry when I explained why. What the frick. I am just blown away by all the comments I have read thus far. This one in particular made me stop and share my frustration. The lack of logic and justice on these stories really pee me off. I would be so mad if these kind of things had happened to me. I mean, my parents are not perfect and may sometimes overreact but come on. Some logic and common sense would be good. My dad beer at some fancy cheese that we both liked. When he came to eat some he couldn't find it and blamed me. It was found in the freezer a few days later, where he put it, and no apologies were given. It drives me nuts when parents won't apologize to their children. My South Asian mom was furious when she found me texting a boy from school. She gave me this whole lecture about how this is against our values, I'm not allowed to date, etc. The second I protest that this is just a friend and I'm not interested in him at all, she immediately does a 180 and goes why not, are you a gay? That crap freaking gave me whiplash trying to keep up. A couple of my friends and I still ask each other are you a gay when someone thinks some guy is hot but someone else doesn't. I used to have all these crazy rules. I didn't have a cell phone cause my mom was worried I would text boys but whenever I was out with my friends I had to call by 5 o'clock no matter what. And if I forgot or wasn't with a friend that had a cell phone I was screwed. I started working at a smoothie place after school my sophomore and junior year of high school. I decided to quit for my senior year to focus on graduating and hanging with my friends and my mom was furious at me. My mom would pick me up from hanging out with my friends and for about 6 months she'd smell my fingers randomly to see if I was smoking weed or cigarettes and sometimes ask if I was pregnant. She'd also check my movie tickets and ask me about the movie I saw to make sure we weren't sneaking into different theaters. She always said she was hard on me because I can get pregnant. I was under the deck, looking for our cat. There was a dirt ramp that opened wide at the bottom, and the car sprinted up there, and I was trying to get him out. He disappeared, going too deep. I come out from under the deck, and my dad pulled in the driveway. What were you doing? Looking for the cat. That's stupid. What were you really doing? Don't lie, the cat just. Seriously, if you don't tell me what you were doing, you're going to be grounded. The, I, cat, grounded two weeks. I mentioned this many, many years later, and he had no recollection whatsoever. I was just playing with the cat. Dang it. Breaking my foot at like 12-13. My mom thought I was faking it to miss school and stomped on my broken foot and hit with a broom. Funny thing I heard my foot crack and called her right when it happened and from her tone I got scared and dragged my foot to school that afternoon. It got swollen after 2 minutes so every step hurt and was worse on the trip back but you know 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 still haven't heard a sorry. Hey this happened to my little brother. He broke his leg riding a bike. But it didn't swell that much and he is a tough little guy so my dad thought it wasn't that bad and he made him try to walk it off. Doctor said little bro was the first kid he's had that smiled when he was told he had a broken leg. For spending my paper route money, I wasn't the one who spent it. My mom was. But when the newspaper told them I didn't turn in their portion of the money, my mom got mad at me and acted like I was the one who had done it. Then made me get another job to pay back the paper for the money she'd kept. But she kept that money, too. That's how my parents were.
Oh wow your mom was a piece of crap. Me and my dad were talking about something. I can't remember what. And for some reason the names of Obama's daughters came up. I could remember one Sasha, but not the other. So when we'd finished chatting I looked it up. Next time the conversation went that way, a day or so later, I said Sasha and Malia, and his face just dropped. Did you look that up he asked. Yeah, why? Well, he was outraged at the idea. It was like he took personal offense at the idea that someone who didn't know something might go out of their way to learn it for no reason other than to know it. His logic seems to be that only the stuff he already knows is important. Because if it was important and he didn't know it, he'd have looked it up already. So anything he doesn't know is obviously pointless and dumb. He's not fun when it comes to trivial pursuit. Steve, you know I only read books I've already read. My dad thought me and my friends were spraying Pepsi on the roof of the bathroom. I was like 14 and seriously dumbfounded by how stupid he thought I was. Turns out the crappy contractor he hired didn't put a sealant on when he painted the roof. IDK man. One of my roommates in college managed to get wine stains on the ceiling. Weirder things have happened. Mom. Do the dishes. Me. Okay. Starts doing dishes. Mom. Five minutes later, vacuum the living room. Me, I will as soon as I'm done with the dishes. Mom, angry, no, you'll do it now. When I tell you to do something I expect you to do it as soon as I tell you. Me, yes mom, leaves dishes to go vacuum. Mom, ten minutes later, why aren't these dishes done yet when I tell you to do something you better finish it before you go do something else grounds me. Me, screams. This was my mom growing up and then she would say that I wasn't doing it efficiently. Not me but a friend of mine was at home alone for the day and needed clean clothes. So he washed and dried his clothes. When his mom got home and found out, she flipped her lid and grounded him for a week. Sounds like someone is trying to make sure their children need them forever. My kid is too and I have her help me do laundry so she can learn. I was grounded when I was 16 because I was mistaken for being a robber in my ex-boyfriend's neighborhood. Some old person tipped them off saying they thought they saw me leap a 10 foot wall. I'm 5 feet 2 inches, so this is highly improbable. Before I knew it, there were 6 cop cars following me and when they stopped to investigate my car, they asked me, did you happen to jump a 10 foot wall and steal some stuff from this house? Do you have any weapons? TVs, couches, whatever. In your car all I had was a bunch of paintings and art supplies in my back seat. Dumbest night of my life. Like what the frick. This is why I despise old people. I was once sent to my room for poking your tongue out at your mother. I was licking salt off my lips. We'd just finished eating fish and chips for dinner. My aunt did this type of thing all the time for any reason. I literally helped clean up a living room and she said I did it cause I was mad at her and should apologize. Apologize just for being mad at her. Went out drinking one night and decided I was too drunk to drive. So I called a sober friend to take my truck home for me. Sober friend ended up getting hit by a drunk driver. And my truck got totaled. I got yelled at for being irresponsible. Back in the early days of Facebook when I was about 15. I left my profile up on the family computer one night. The next morning my mom, who was still wary on the whole social media thing, opens the computer and sees my profile. When I finally wake up a while later, I come downstairs to her PS hook and saying that I had a picture of myself drinking beer with a friend as my profile picture, along with the whole you'll never get a job because of this thing. I calmly point out to her that the picture is of my friend and I drinking hot chocolate at the ski lodge from our vacation last year, and that she was the one who took that picture. Playing video games. Somehow watching TV for 3 hours was okay but playing a game for the same amount of time was a horrible addiction. I'm 30 now and thinking back on this still makes me angry. Not to mention they ignored the heck I went through as a teenager and said everything wrong with me was from video games. Yes, I had a literally brick thrown at me from a car and was also treated like garbage by so many people for no reason at all was not why I was so upset. It was video games. Their logic made no sense. What's even weirder is that they were the same people who bought me video games. My parents were like that with magic. Magic was evil. 
Any computer game or card game that involved magic was forbidden in my house. They destroyed so many of my games, along with two boxes worth of Magic the Gathering cards. Thing is, as a little kid my mom would always read me the Magic Far Away Tree series and my dad encouraged me to read the Chronicles of Narnia and the Lord of the Rings. My dad asked me to repeat what my mom had said in a heated argument when I was young, so I repeated verbatim exactly what she said, which included the word freak. Old man popped me so hard in the mouth I fell off the dining room chair. I'm still confused about the logic there 15 years later. I remember getting yelled at a lot for not being hungry. Why the heck was it such a bad thing? Around age 8 10, to have a small appetite. Oh and my father would get furious whenever I got sick. This one I understand a little more as 90% of his emotions were expressed via anger. I was an accident and was pretty much the cause of my family becoming broken due to financial instability and divorce when I was 7. So pretty much anything they can make an excuse for. No, they chose to have you then fricked up their own financials. They were idiots and shifted the blame on you, when they were in the wrong for their own fuck ups. My dad got all pissy when I asked to see a therapist for depression. Like it was a personal failing and I chose to have it. That was fun. My mom once got insanely mad that I wasn't home without telling her. I was around 18 at the time. She got so mad she repeatedly called me and texted angry messages and went on a rampage around the house. I was upstairs in my room sleeping the entire time and didn't wake up until a few hours later to her messages and my stuff all tossed around. Kinda hard to explain I was upstairs the entire time and didn't hear anything. Wanting to cut my hair super short. I was a freshman in high school and hated my hair so I wanted to cut it super short. Like a pixie cut. I brought it up with my mom one day and she got so mad at me. Said I would look like a lesbian. Said it wouldn't work with my hair. Said it wouldn't look good on me. She kept yelling at me and I started crying and went up to my room. A week later she got a pixie cut. I was so freaking mad. I will never forget when back in 1998 I was like 8 or 9, was playing the legendary GoldenEye 64. A soldier raised his arms and I killed him. My dad went nuts and yelled me never ever to kill somebody with raised arms, even in video games. You should show him the Modern Warfare 2 no Russian mission lol. I happen to look a lot like a certain actress. When I was in high school, I was in the yearbook 2 years running as her look alike. One day while browsing the internet, I searched her because I thought it was a funny coincidence. But this was back when homes often just had one shared computer in a common area. My mom came up behind me to tell me something. Saw a picture of said actress on my screen and proceeded to lose her dang mind because she always told me to never put your picture on the internet. This was pre-Facebook. A V. Seeing her face when I politely said that's not me, it's actress, was totally worth it. Edit. Oh. Good lord. Fine. I didn't say the name of the actress because I know I'll get spammed with pics or it didn't happen. And I'm not providing pics. So too bad. But the actress is Neve Campbell. I remember when we were told never put your pictures online. They stay there forever and anyone can see them. Now all schools have Twitter and Facebook. So they can post pictures of the kids for them. Mom used to take afternoon naps and it was up to me to wake her in time so that she could start dinner. If I woke her and she fell back asleep, that was my fault. When I was younger, I didn't know that she was drinking and that the nap was actually her passing out, though. 19 years ago when Red Bull was still pretty new in the USA, and I was in high school, my dad found an empty can in my car and lit into me, because he thought it was an alcoholic ghetto drink. I can only imagine the smug look on my face waiting for him to finish. When I was a kid I'd restart the computer when my games would freeze run slow. She would yell IT costs me $60 every time you restart that freaking thing. I had no idea what she was talking about then, and I'm still flabbergasted. I'm very curious where she pulled that $60 figure from. It's not like the computer deletes a random game every time you restart it. Mum slipped in the kitchen and landed on her butt, messing up our dinner in the process. We all heard the noise of plates crashing and all of us, including me, went downstairs. Dad, after helping mom get on her feet, for no freaking reason, 
turned sour face on me, out of the three siblings, and told me you could have cleaned this slippery floor but you opted to waste time playing on your PC instead. Dude, like WTF. This is how I usually spend my Friday evenings. And how the frick would I even know it's slippery? I've never been in the kitchen since breakfast for school. I get you man. I constantly get judged for spending time on the PC. Modifying a perfectly good car. Even though I haven't lived with them in over 10 years, nor do I receive any assistance from them in any way. Whether or not they're right depends on the car and what you've done to it. I didn't catch much but my poor brother. My mother was hypercritical and my brother is on the autism spectrum. She pulled him out of public school system at grade 4 to homeschool him. Now at 27 she'd be about how he can barely read and can't hold down a job. I got sent to my room once in high school because I was told my parents that Wind and N00B were video game lingo and spelled the way they're spelt. I think it boiled down to them being mad that I thought my generation made up those terms, though, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think they did. We got a new internet service, of course, it comes with the weird name for the router, and a crazy long password, I changed it to something my family knows, and got crap for it claiming they won't take it back now. Oh lord. My mother yelled at me once in middle school because my math report sheet had the grading scale at the bottom and she thought it was my grades and they were getting progressively lower. I'm pretty sure I had an A or a B in that class but she chose to focus on that. She kept screaming at me and screamed even harder when I started backing to a corner because I was so freaked out. I realized that it was the grading scale the next day during class and when I told her she didn't even apologize. It was just so stupid because she literally had nothing to be angry about. She just always thought the worst of me. Incidents like this are why I can't stand people screaming at me. I start to shut down. If you are talking to me and telling me I have disappointed you, I will start crying. If you scream at me, I will shut down and tune you out completely. When you are done, I will say okay, sorry, and leave. 1. Getting yelled at by my mum for leaving the kitchen door open so a neighbor's cat ate some of the roast chicken. Yelled at for lying when I told her it wasn't me. No apology when she, minutes later, found out it was my dad. 2. Called a bee by my mum for putting the family's washing on because my brother had just come off a night shift. Yet she knows almost nothing wakes him up once he's asleep and the washing machine is on a different floor and opposite end of the house. Full stop. 3. Getting yelled at by my mum for crying when she accidentally burned me with a pan whilst serving food. Apparently it was my fault for not seeing her approaching from behind me and reaching out for a condiment. Well. My brother has to rate his so they'd try to stop him because they'd call it a habit he needs to break and it's as if they were embarrassed. My other brother literally could not eat meat. His body completely rejected it and he'd puke if he ate it. Parents got mad over that too. If I held a pencil wrong I'd get in crap. If I used my left hand for anything I'd get in crap. If I needed help with my homework my dad would get pee if I didn't master it instantly after one explanation. Also I wore a shirt with the Filipino star on it. X let me borrow it, and my mom said that better not be the symbol of the gays. What the frick man. I got caught fooling around with a girl in my bedroom. Nothing serious but clothing had been shifted. My folks proceeded to read the both of us the riot act for over a hour about how disrespectful this was and how I could have gotten her pregnant. For the record, nothing below the belt had been shifted. Long story short, I ended up marrying that girl and have been married for 20 years. It wasn't too long after we got married that my mom confided in me that she was so happy that I'd met my wife because they thought I might be gay when I was growing up. I can't even imagine how awkward that would be for both you and your wife lol. Having parents walk in and quickly back out and apologize is already embarrassing but having them read you whole passages about why you shouldn't be having sex sounds horrendous. I told my mother that I had a dream that she screamed at me for receiving an A on a math test. She then proceeded to scream at me for truly seeing her that way and told me to get out of her sight lomfeo. I used to write screenplays in middle school. One day I left one of my scripts open on my desktop. My mom came down and saw the word frick in one of the lines of dialogue I wrote. She flipped out, demanded I delete the whole script. I told her no one got grounded. She never did delete it though. 
She knew if she told you no that would set your mind and you'd become the go just to spite her. Your mom is secretly your biggest fan and has her own copy of that screenplay. That or it's exactly as you said and nothing more. I said it was kind of funny that English was considered a world's language when it isn't even the most spoken language in the world. And my dad started yelling at me for being a dumbass and rude and that I had to respect the business language and be glad I was able to speak it at all. How is it not the most spoken language in the world if everyone speaks it? We're Brazilian. He doesn't speak English. English is considered the best language for international commerce, given the wide range it has, but it is definitely not the most spoken language in the world. If you want to go into business, then it can help. If you want to go into anything else, maybe a different language would be better to add to your repertoire. A friend of mine started recycling aluminum cans for money. I thought it was a good idea so I started doing it too. My stepfather got mad at me for the ridiculous idea and made me stop. Two weeks later he was doing it himself. For doing nothing. I woke up for school one morning and walked down the stairs and saw someone wrote dusk me. D on the TV screen. The screen was a little dusty. And I saw it and had a little chuckle and went on my way to school. I came home and my mom was in a mood and eventually we got into an argument and she took the writing on the TV as a personal attack on her cleaning it seemed. We fought over it for an hour or two and eventually I got grounded. Turns out my stepfather had written the note before he left for work that morning as a little joke. We've since patched things up since then and it's a good running joke between us but oh boy was that a fun day. I got grounded twice throughout my teen years. One of those lasted 24 hours until a misunderstanding got cleared up. The only time I got grounded for real, for a few weeks, was because I got a tattoo. It was a henna tattoo. My mom knew what they were. I'd gotten henna before, it was a simple floral pattern and nothing inappropriate, and my mom even dyes her hair with henna so she can't pretend it's some horrible poison. Also, my sister got two real tattoos as soon as she turned 18 and got into less trouble than I did for that tiny flower. I once got paint on my jeans, just a few drops towards the ankle, and was beaten pretty severely. I raised my voice once, my dad laid me out. This was less my dad getting mad at me and more my dad not believing me about what really led to me getting a black eye. The incident occurred about 11 years ago, very shortly after graduating high school. At that point in my life I had been in one fight, and outside of pay class had never played basketball. I was hanging out with my friend Ryan, and we ended up heading over to the high school to play a game of basketball. I knew I had zero abilities. But we were bored and I was in the process of trying to lose weight so I figured it was a good fit for the evening. When trying to get a rebound I ended up catching Ryan's elbow to my eye socket. It bruised up and swelled pretty quickly. That night going home my dad refused to believe I had been playing basketball. I must have been in a fight. The idea of me, the pasta heavy set ginger kid. Playing basketball was so dang unconceivable to my dad that he rationalized the black eye with me getting punched in the face. Man I was so ready for a fresh prince. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.